Hey guys, welcome to another mod review. Today, um, what I'm going to do, I guess I'm going to have a treat for you guys, is um, I'm going to upload my panels over to some uh, hosting place, I guess, so you guys can download it. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to import those panels. Okay, there's four pieces. There's four panels to uh, my layout that uh, you guys all been uh, looking at, and I've been asking, hey, can I get it? this would be a good exercise to show you how to import panels the reason why this is a good uh, tutorial and exercise to show you how to import panels is because um, I'm recording now on uh, high definition so I have to do it in a certain resolution and a lot of people ask me um, hey can I get your panels I said sure but you know I'll do it some one of these videos but the problem is is um, you know it's not gonna come out exactly to your resolution so we're gonna have to kinda uh, massage it a little ma and uh, resize it and scale it a bit to make it fit so it's perfect size right now I'm at uh, resolution of uh, uh, 1280 by 720 which is the high definition uh, resolution used to record uh, movies in so uh, let's get to it as you know or as you can tell right now my panels aren't loaded so if you remember from the previous uh, tutorial let's go ahead and load it up slash kg panels config and uh, right now it's showing my profiles panel so basically let me show you what it looks like in uh, this resolution in my default panels here so this is what it looks like as you can tell over to the uh, right side here there's still a little gap there so it doesn't really fit this type of uh, you know this resolution because I built it for a different res resolution uh, 1900 by 1200 so uh, let's see if we could import these panels make a new profile, import these panels, and uh, make it fit. The uh, first thing you have to do is uh, go ahead and download the uh, zip file with all the uh, panels in it. There should be only four files. Uh, it's either a link on the YouTube videos uh, comment section or description section or uh, I will annotate uh, the URL right here. Okay, now once you get it uh, downloaded, you're gonna unzip it. Uh, you can unzip it anywhere in your wild directory. I unzipped it into interface, and then I made a new uh, uh, directory called CC Layout. So that's where I put mine. Now you can put yours anywhere, but just remember where you put it from the WoW folder. All right, now that you got it installed, let's go ahead and uh, what you want to do is go into KG Panels again, slash KG Panels uh, space config. Uh, what we want to do is go into the art, art library. Now we have to import these uh, files first before we could use them. You know, in, in other words, stick it in KG panels and say, hey, here it is. It's ready to be used. Okay, now I already have these panels uh, imported into uh, KG panels here from my previous usage. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, make a new one and pretend that it's new just to show you guys here. So go and uh, make sure you have art library clicked. And uh, we'll name it here uh, panel test one you click OK and now you have to put in the path to where uh, the the files are where you installed them uh, in my case it was interface slash uh, CC while layout okay so what you want to do is two backslash to start an interface backslash CC while layout backslash and the name of the panel which is panel one dot TGA Sorry about that. Like that. Click OK and then add it. And you see it uh, gets listed in the backgrounds here. Hopefully I got the path right. Yep. And I'll show you a little preview of the uh, image that you have uh, added. Okay, now you want to do it two more times. Okay, or actually three more times. Okay. Uh, once you have uh, entered three more times, uh, the panel two, three, and four. Basically, what you can do is just highlight this and click Control C to copy it. That way, all you have to do is just paste it in uh, next time. So go ahead and create the the other three panels, and then uh, pause this video, and uh, we'll move on afterwards. Okay, now once we got everything uh, imported into KG Panels, the images, uh, let's go ahead and create a new layout. Go up to Layouts, call it Cool. Uh, actually, I'm gonna call it CC Layout. You can call it whatever you want. And click OK, and then click Create, and it'll create it. Put it down on the list here. Okay. Now the next step is, and we have to make these panels. We have to say, make this image into a panel. So let's go and do that. Okay. So to do that, let's click uh, Active Panels. Sorry, I moved the uh, windows around here a little. 
Let's go ahead and give this panel a name. We'll call it uh, panel one. Click OK and then create. Now what happens here is it created a new panel. It's an empty panel, there's nothing in it. You resize it here. We'll just make it a little bigger so we can see it when it comes in. Alright. Now what you gotta do is uh, set the properties for this panel which includes hey using the uh, image that we just uh, uh, created. So let's go into panel one. Okay, and make sure lo uh, lock panel is unchecked. You do not want to intercept any mouse clicks for this. Okay, and then let's go down here. We should could pretty much leave uh, color and opacity settings at uh, where it's at right now. Panel width, panel height, offset, offset Y. Uh, we'll figure that out later uh, because we're going to have to do a little uh, adjusting here. So let's go to texture options. Okay, and then you'll see background texture. We want to pick panel one, panel art one. That's what I named it, and this is what it was just before. Okay, now you can see that uh, there's the panel. And it's a you can see through it a little. We'll go in and fix that later.